Yeah, so we have a question from Fred Wesley. Um, so he says, I wonder if anybody knows if OpenDNS adult site blocking blocks non-English adult sites. Mm, good question. He couldn't yeah. find an answer, and he supplies um, a couple of sites, forums, OpenDNS.com sites. A couple of forum sites, just mm -hmm. with people talking about it, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, Fred, um, I think what it boils down to, I don't know what the official answer would be to that. I think what it boils down to is, of course, you know, OpenDNS does a fabulous job at doing what they do, um, and they work on creating a repository of these kinds of sites that we want to be able to block. Mm. But it would be a, a pretty huge undertaking to be able to block In every, every language. site <laughs> from every language, from every mm -hmm. continent, and and all across the board. Mm -hmm. What can happen though is you can you can actually, um, uh, for example, uh, keep an eye on if if I guess it depends on the scenario, right? You can, if you suspect that somebody is accessing stuff that you don't want them to be accessing, you can turn on logging on OpenDNS and you can actually see which URLs are being accessed. If you find one that you find is obscene or, or you don't want to be accessed on your network, you can, you can submit that to OpenDNS for inclusion in the blocking process. Mm -hmm. While you're waiting for them to block that domain as part of the, you know, the, the blanket protection, uh, you can actually block it specifically. Nice. The other alternative mm -hmm. would be to block specific domain uh, types. Uh, you obviously couldn't do like .com or anything like that because you're always using that. But if there's a specific, you know, if, if let's say the, the domains are from a specific area of the world and they end with dot .something, like China might be dot .cn, uh, .tw for, for Taiwan or something along those lines, you could block those domains, but then you're blocking everything across mm -hmm. the board. So the best thing to do without going to that extreme would be to watch uh, the logs and, and submit things as they come in. But I think that, and, and what you're doing when you do that as well, I should say, is because it's a community, because it's, a, you know, it's an open application, you, when you submit new, new sites to be blocked, you're helping to grow that database for mm -hmm. them. Uh, and so that the next guy who is asking the same question, because you've already submitted it, they've already blocked it, now it's become more uh, more effective right. for the next guy. So, so I think that's kind of where it would stand. Mm -hmm. And if you're not finding any answers uh, specifically, then I would say that that would be about the case.